noticed I have indeed been holding off on making a video commenting on the set pics and now video that has leaked uh, from the Shazam movie that reveals Zachary Levi in costume. Why have I done this? Well, there's the obvious, and that, that, that's that it looks really bad. <laughs> but I was also kind of hoping for an assist from director David F. Sandberg, who, if his tweets are to be believed, wants to release an official picture of, this, of the suit. Uh, and in fact, he jinxed himself on Twitter, by the way. He was like, boy, I sure wish I could release an official photo, but the suits won't let me. So we can get started talking about when the trailer is going to come out. And then he followed it up with a, a tweet saying, and you know, I have to say, for all the outside shooting we've been doing, I'm surprised uh, that nobody has taken a picture yet. And the internet was like, challenge accepted and they are coming through in spades. So before it was just a picture from behind, so we could all be like, well, let's wait till we see the full costume. But today we got, we got the full frontal uh, that we have, uh, I think, been asking for and in some ways dreading. Uh, and I just can't wait any longer to talk about it. A number of you were eager to get this conversation going and that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. And I don't think, by the way, David F. Sandberg can wait any longer to release that official picture. And since he has waited so long, the only conclusion that I can draw is that he knows the reaction is bad, but that's the suit. You know, some of us were like, well, maybe this is a dream sequence, or maybe the lighting will help it. And I think David F. Sandberg's like, no, nope, that's what I went with. <laughs> so he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna hunker down, hope this blows over, and then I'll win everyone over with the teaser trailer, right? That would be my game plan if that was indeed the suit that I had gone with. Would never have gone with that suit, but you know, too late, we're stuck. You can't, <laughs> we can't keep changing things at the last minute. You know, I, t I made that comment about changing Pooh's mouth at the last minute in the Christopher Robin trailer, and a number of you were like, that didn't work out, out so well for the DCEU, Grace. That's totally true. And um, at some point, you just gotta, you gotta roll with it. So uh, with this first, the first photo that came out, uh, I decided to show it to my mother because I was curious, you know, what does uh, a mainstream moviegoer think of this costume? Because I was like, maybe, you know what, maybe this is for mainstream audiences. Maybe this isn't for comic book fans, right? Okay, let's try and get behind that argument. And she, just to give you some context, she hated Batman v Superman, but she thought Justice League was fun. You know, she didn't love it, but she was pleasantly surprised, especially after seeing Batman v Superman. But when she saw this, she said to me, and I kid you not, she said, Oh, do you mean that guy with the dress pinned to his back? And that just, that just floored me because it was so accurate. It really does look like he has a dress pinned to the back. I mean, who would have a superhero cape made of gauze, right? Who's like, you know what I want? I want a fluffy cape. <laughs> it makes no sense. And I think this just proves that this is one of those costumes that doesn't translate beyond the comics. Even in the comics, I think Shazam is a niche character. He's not a super popular character. Uh, now, of course, there have been niche characters, characters that have leveled up to comic book, I mean, to comic book movies incredibly successfully, more successful than popular characters in the comics. But I don't think, I don't know, maybe it will be. I, I, I can kind of see the direction they're going in, but I'm gonna also, we're gonna go over this, but I'm gonna also tell you how to save your sanity going forward with this movie. The only path that's open to us hardcore comic book fans. All right, so side note though, I do have to give them credit for working so hard uh, to design this costume, even though I feel it's misguided. Like the cape does look like it comes out of the comics. It looks very expensive, like they're really making an effort here, right? Uh, I appreciate the lightning motif on the boots and on the gauntlets. That's, that's a nice touch, right? I'm really reaching here. Uh, but I do agree with people when, the, when the, again, when that very first photo came out uh, of him at the mall during Christmas, a lot of people were like, ah, oh, it's like Jingle All the Way, that Arnold Schwarzenegger Christmas movie. Uh, and then also I thought Elf. I thought Elf not just because of the costume and the Christmas setting, and the movie, by the way, comes out April 5th, 2019, but also because of the casting and that Zachary Levi uh, has a very much of a, like a Will Ferrell type vibe. And based on this video also that came out today, he's totally playing Shazam like Will Ferrell played Elf. A movie which, by the way, I absolutely adore. But, you know, I had no preconceived notions going in there. And, you know, preconceived notions are a real bitch for uh, Hollywood when it comes to comic book properties. Uh, and the Winnie the Pooh movie, by the way, from the trailer discussion that we had uh, earlier today. Uh, but there's nothing you can do. They exist and you just got to deal with them. And, and so, 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 all right. So, my first big question now is what is up with the DCEU and tone, right? First, Kristen Wiig as Cheetah, and now this, this direction with the movie. I mean, 
forget just the Christmas setting in a movie that doesn't come out at Christmas, right? This is even more a 90s approach and that this is how they handled comic book characters back then in Hollywood. And no one was happy with it. It didn't work out. So I don't know why anybody would be like, you know what, let's go back to that. That makes no sense to me. And I also don't understand, I think this is why everybody's so perplexed. Why would you hire a horror director to make Big the superhero version or Elf the superhero version? Why wouldn't you get a John Favreau or someone of, uh, uh, who, who has experience in this field? It makes no freaking sense. All right, and then also, uh, when the first pick came out, one of you asked me, how can this stand next to this? And I tweeted back, sadly, it cannot. Uh, and so now I'm wondering if Shazam is intended to be part of the DCEU as a whole. I think maybe it should be just its own thing, especially with this costume and this approach. Because here's the problem. The fact that Shazam is actually this little boy, Billy Batson, turned into an adult superhero is supposed to be a secret, just like Big. But who in the league would fall for that if it's this guy, Zachary Levi, played this way, wearing this? I mean... Forget just Batman being like, I have to investigate this. I think anybody would be like, something's not right here. And then also, Shazam, on that note, is supposed to be Billy Batson, this little boy's ideal, ideal superhero. Like what he thinks he would be if he turned into a superhero, right? And who, how is that Zachary Levi? That makes, that also makes no sense to me. Even with all the fake muscles they've clearly stuck in his costume that we can see. And you know, audiences are too smart for that. You can't do that. We're like, yeah, that's just sculpted in there. I know, I mean, it's not real. I just, it doesn't even sell the idea of the character. Forget mixing in with the Justice League. So I, I don't, I just don't understand it. So I think again, to preserve our sanity, this is what I recommend. We need to look at this, how clearly the Warner Brothers suits are looking at it. And thank goodness Walter Hamada came in after this was green light. So I'm going to choose to believe that he can't do anything about this. Okay? So this is just the superhero version of Big or Elf. And I liked both those movies. So I'm going to remain positive. But I'm telling you, I will lose my shit if he goes anywhere near the Justice League. I really will. If they are forced to interact with this. I don't even... I'm sure they will be upset about it as well. So what do you think? How can you get behind this costume? Do you think it should be part of the DCEU? Uh, and what do you think, you know, are you as surprised as I am uh, as, at the approach that DC, uh, you know, the, the moves they've been making lately? I don't think surprised. I think that's, I think that's us being really polite. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, if you want to do that. Okay. <laughs> You just back out of the room. All right, so anyway, write your thoughts down below and you can check out some more videos right now.